This afternoon, Penn State University is holding a wake for Paterno. He died on Sunday of complications from lung cancer, two months after his record-setting career was cut short when he was fired in a scandal involving Paterno's former top assistant. Two of his children, Jay Paterno and Mary Kay uh, Paterno Hort, are in State College, Pennsylvania this morning. Our condolences to both of you, and thank you for taking time uh, to come talk with us this morning. Talk for a moment uh, about his legacy uh, and what these last years have been for him? Well, his legacy is going to be in, in his five children and his 17 grandchildren, and, uh, and certainly the hundreds of players that he's coached over the years. And uh, what do we do with our lives and what they do with their lives are going to be things that become the legacy for him. And how do these last weeks and controversy weigh on him, and, and what impact did it have on him physically? I, you know, really, he, he was very focused on the next chapter in his life. He was, he was fighting. He was looking forward to what he had ahead of him. Uh, he was positive, confident, and was really enjoying this stage of his life. We had a, uh, an 85th birthday party just about a month ago for him. All 17 grandchildren were there, all five children, all spouses. And his birthday wish was not for himself. His birthday wish was that all of us would have what he had that night, and health, happiness, a great family, a loving family, and a strong family. And really, the, the legacy of having lived your life the way you wanted to live it and done things the right way. Um, the legacy is clearly there, and it speaks for itself, and the players speak for themselves, and the family speaks for themselves. But clearly, uh, this had to be hard for him, and it had to weigh on him. And did he feel uh, that he'd had an opportunity to put his own perspective on what had happened? and to make any apologies yeah, see, he, or whatever he wanted to make. He, he was very much a forward-looking person. I was sharing with someone uh, the other day that when we were, when I was younger and up until very recently, my parents entertained after most games. And win or lose, people would be there. And no matter what happened, if they won or lost, he was very focused. If, if there had been a loss and people were saying, oh, oh, whatever, he would say, OK, yeah, I'm worried about the next game. Same thing if they won. They'd say, oh, you're great, you're wonderful, what a great play. And he would say, you know, that, that, that's over. I'm, I'm worried about the game next week. And I think that's where he was. He was worried about what he was doing next and what his next fight was. Jay, there's been a lot made of whether or not officials from Penn State should attend the memorial for your father, um, especially given the way his career ended at the university. How do you as a family feel about that? Well, I think the focus on that really takes away from what we're trying to do here in the next couple of days. We're celebrating really a 61-year career at Penn State. We're celebrating 85 years of a life lived at a very, very high level of integrity, of morality, of loyalty to Penn State. So obviously it's something we want all Penn Staters to feel welcome and all the people that have supported the family uh, through cards and letters and the emotions and, and the outpouring of support we've gotten. Uh, not just in the days since he died, but certainly over the course of see, 61 years. Mm -hmm. So we, this is an open, uh, an open celebration of really an incomparable and, and beautiful life. What do you think, we've talked a lot about, and Charlie mm -hmm. touched on his legacy, sort of in the greater world, uh, among the Penn State alum, and many, who never went to Penn State, but, but admired him as a coach. But talk about his legacy personally uh, to you, to the five of his children, and to his 17 grandchildren. What, what will they remember? I think, I think what you're going to see is as, uh, as we get past the next couple days and, and celebrate his life, the legacy that's going to remain is, is his, uh, his sense of personal excellence is what really came through. He believed that uh, success was something people outside of you put on you and defined you, but your personal excellence is really what you were all about. And that's a lesson that I've heard from him and our players have heard from him and Penn Staters have heard from him. And they've tried to maintain that. Uh, and he has. And I think there's never been a question that he's always believed that he's done the right thing. And, and I think that will come shining through as we go forward. And I would add, too, that I noticed in the, in the several days leading up to his passing that his legacy became very apparent in his children and grandchildren. He had always taught us commitment, loyalty. We were all very loyal to each other. To each other. And the way the 17 grandchildren handled watching this transpire, they, they were all his values were clearly coming through in their behavior and how they handled themselves and the kinds of things they said to him um, as we were saying goodbye. As he was saying his goodbye to all of you, what did he most want to say? 
he was most concerned about all of us. I think even uh, up to a couple of days ago, I was in visiting him, and he was sort of saying, go home, take care of your family. I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. He was always more concerned about other people. Jay and Mary Kay, really appreciate your time this morning, and again, our condolences. Thank you. Thank you.